Hi everybody and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Honore Unwanu and I will show you how you can install Flashy in order to get nice flash notifications for your Laravel application. So the first thing we need to do is install Flashy through Composer. So I have a fresh Laravel application here called Demo App. I can just paste this line like that in order to install Flashy. I also need to pull in the provider and an alias if I want to use Flashy like that. So let's just go on config app.php and paste it here. And also I will copy this line in order to have also Flashy as a facade. Okay, it's done. Now, I also need to have jQuery because Flashy require jQuery. So, on my resources views, welcome.play.php. Here, I will just use the script tag and load jQuery through code.jQuery.com slash jquery dot mean dot js after that i can check if flash is installed that is the case and i just have to copy this line go on route.php and i will use it here so i can show welcome aboard and if the user click on this notification it will be redirected here fine I also need to pull in the view. This is the view here. So I can just paste it after jQuery. And if you want, you can also publish the view in order to update it, change it at you as you want. Fine. So I can find my view here. Let's just now try it. I can start the server using serve or php artisan serve and I have to refresh the page and wow and fine you see it here so we have some style for flashing also a little bit of javascript and yeah our note session message displayed here so you can just uh, copy this part if you want and add it in your CSS file so in my case I will pull it on resources asset SAS and here like you see also I can just copy this JavaScript part and create for example a new file on public js and i will create a new file called app.js feel free to use for example browserify and anything you want here i have now my app.js file and i just have to go here write another script tag in order to load js app.js so if everything is perfect here i need also to make a link for my CSS app.css and just run gulp in order to compile down my CSS because by default this line can be used in order to compile down our CSS file so I've done I can run the server here this is an alias that I've created on my computer if I refresh it you see I get my message now if you want you can just track it as you want for example in message here is my message you can change everything you want it's just html the same thing is for your js file if you want to change the delay or add a close button and do something with jquery feel free to do it now in order to have something uh, pretty uh, awesome i can just copy these two lines as you can see for nice rendering and in welcome.blade.php i will paste it like that 
and I just have to change some part if I go down here I can just copy this part in order to change the font family and it is app.css just change this part and also we can add a material icon in order to have something pretty awesome I can paste it here now I just need to stop the server run gulp in order to compile down my SESS file and run save again now if I go here and refresh the page you see I get something pretty awesome now okay you can use many types of notification and for success and so on for example I can change it to error let's just refresh the page in order to see what we get and I get this red background you can also use a function helper called flashing like that instead of using the facade and I can have for example a running message using warning let's just refresh the page and you see I get it I can change it to primary if I refresh also the page I get it okay so I think it's all for this tutorial I hope that you enjoy it and thank you for watching